Yes, welcome back to my channel and today I'll teach you about the expectation maximization problem in artificial intelligence. Now, uh, a certain points you have to remember regarding the expectation maximization or the EM algorithm basically. So, let's get started. So, what is this EM algorithm is? Now, this algorithm is basically used for clustering. Like we have the K-means, K-medoids algorithm, uh, the Birch algorithm. Uh, so likewise we have the expectation maximization so uh, two words are there in this that is the expectation as well as the maximization now what this mean for expectation means we have some expectation from the input values that we uh, consider to be maximized means like the expectation which we expect or which we expect the robot to be generated should be maximized so that we can utilize it up to the maximum level so that's why uh, this algorithm is uh, used basically so it is used for clustering next this uh, em learns a theory and it specifies how each sample should be classified and predict the future values for each of the classes now what does it stands for now expectation maximization it will learn a theory means uh, this algorithm will learn a random theory and means like it can be any use case as specified by the user any condition any situation and it specifies how each of the sample from that theory should be classified into different levels and what all values should be predicted accordingly for each of the classes now this will give a brief and broad idea for the robot uh, means to what to generate and what not to generate means we are expanding the memory or the expectation we are in fact expanding for the robot next uh, our idea for em is to start with a random theory or a randomly classified data and to repeat it in two steps until they converge to a coherent theory now this idea of the em algorithm it starts with a randomly classified data means uh, it's not that predetermined uh, we have some data it is dynamic uh, it keeps on changing so that randomly classified data will be repeated and processed in two steps basically until they converge to one single point now those two steps are e and m obviously that is the expectation and maximization now expectation classifies the data using the current theory means whatever current theory is there now there are two types of theory that is the current theory as well as the proposed theory current theory is uh, what we get from uh, stating the uh, values or the expectations like uh, when we read some particular training set what uh, kind of uh, output should be generated for this algorithm that is basically the uh, current theory and proposed theory is that we already prepare and keep and that we have to utilize uh, for solving this problem uh, next is the maximization that is m it generates the best theory using the given classification of data now likewise for each theory we can have different number of uh, outputs generated different predicted values or probability values are there so out of them will uh, generate the best possible uh, condition or the best theory means which uh, can be fed into the uh, robot easily so that it can process and classify the data as required so these are the two steps now these two steps must be processed until they converge and come to one single point and so there we stop this algorithm next uh, more in generalized terms e generates the expected classification for each sample means for each an individual uh, sample which are there in the training set it will generate the expected classifications now first we do the classification then we do the categorization that is the clustering next m generates the most likely theory given in the classified data means it will generate the best theory which is suitable for the agent to understand which will consume minimum memory so that uh, the maximum and the errorless output is obtained at the uh, earliest now uh, this algorithm that is em algorithm is an iterative algorithm and one uh, drawback of this is that it can get caught at the local maxima which was uh, a problem of uh, hill climbing and most of the other algorithms uh, which hill climbing ultimately overcome by using its certain uh, 
solutions to tackle the uh, local optima or the local myxema now why this local optima occurs is that because of the different initialization conditions that we uh, input to this em algorithm now uh, in the uh, em algorithm at certain points we uh, do the initialization at some random value so this random values are such a uh, values that it can be caught easily at uh, any point means it will not further explore any other points uh, so this is the expectation maximization algorithm in brief hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video